Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my channel Science to Technology. In today's show, Rocket Monday, we're going to talk about space update of 1st April 2022. Yes, I know what that date is. <laughs> uh, so first thing, that's the one of the most common thing that I get asked is FAA approval. What happened to that? Well, it got delayed, obviously. And now the next goal post is 29 April 2022. Now at this point in time, it's kind of a very embarrassing for FAA because, well, it is acceptable for some delay to happen, but it's not acceptable for a government agency to be like, lol 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 they can't keep doing lol every time it's like it's flat out becomes trolling because at that point that simply means you knew that it's not going to be approved you should have given like okay three months from now or four months from now you cannot just keep stretching it now because of the uh, unfortunate fact of that fea is kind of very opaque it's kind of was built for very small uh applications it was not designed for like you know giant spaceports and all that jazz so they're kind of struggling and the primary reason that uh, it's coming out of it right now is that it may not be fea it may be other uh, government agency like uh, environmental agency that they have to uh, interact with and figure things out that they may be uh, you know throwing some hurdles here so it may be some other agencies you know not cooperating as faa want them so they're not getting uh, green or uh, red anyway they are they are just stuck they are stuck in a limbo and not to mention uh, spacex fans kind of created uh, this mess also because they flooded the faa with the letters which they should not have done it's like unless you have something really really important to say you should not send letters to faa now they have to read through all those letters that caused a like you know cascade failure kind of scenario so fundamentally it's uh, not looking good and likelihood that it will happen on 29 april 2022 it's very slim and not to mention it's almost like faa is like priming the public so they don't explore this like you know we may not give this you know it's like they're not flat out saying that dude we are studying it and at this point in time likelihood is low it's like you know we may not give it there may be some other uh, analysis whether we have to do it's like don't just say you're not gonna give it so is that a big deal let's assume good case scenario and it's gonna be delayed for april is that a big deal well no simply because spacex has flat out planned out that they're gonna uh, throw away uh, mark one engines and they're gonna put uh, basically in 420 uh, mark two engines basically raptor 2 now that will take time that fundamentally will take time around a one month kind of time so from their point of view it's like they would not have been ready even if uh you know they would have gotten faa approval because at that point in time they would have to actually accept that they are you know putting a crappy engine so if rocket exploded they would not have any way of analyzing whether it was faulty engines or it was faulty design so from in uh, you know from their analysis it's far more efficient to like we know for a fact that raptor 2 is better than raptor 1 so let's test with raptor 2 that will expose more of the vulnerability of the system rather than the vulnerability of engine so they had to do it so it will take time from their point of view they are kind of like you know it's no big deal however that being said the flatter are accepting that uh, this may not happen this thing that may not happen so they are going to florida and they are starting to you know ramp up the construction now why the heck construction is not going as fast as it used to went here well reality is uh spacex is kind of running out of money because well they spent a lot of it as in like they had this much cash reserve this puppy consumed like majority of it on top of that the current war that is going on and the fact that spacex is playing such a vital role uh, in terms of uh, in networking in terms of actual uh, data communication that they are pouring serious amount of money into making sure they are uh, they are not taken down by you know russian hackers they're not uh, you know jammed by radio communication so that takes serious amount of effort manpower technological teams to like you know divert uh, away from here to that department it's like you know just make sure this puppy works properly so that is dwindling the resource now it's a good thing to do from a company point of view like even just from a uh, ego point of view, even just from a point of profit it's really awesome to do simply because that is giving you battle conditions testing and if your equipment can survive battle condition testing that means it's done it's solid take it and go home like you're not gonna have hardware failure after that it's like our system is sorted like if you have a failure after that something ludicrously bad happened like or maybe you know some programmer kind of uploaded a crappy code ask facebook it happens so that's the reality of it right now uh, spacex does not have the you know unlimited cash reserve. that's why this department is acting so slowly uh so let's see what happens again I am thoroughly sure that FAA is not going to grant them any approval and uh, either 29 April will be like, you know, something else will happen. So another news started to come out that they're going to halt, basically SpaceX is going to halt production of Crew Dragon. Now that may sound sensational, but realistically think about it, it was the end game at the end. Anyway, it's like we had to do it simply because flat out Dragon is reusable, meaning this puppy is not supposed to be used and thrown. So it's like, yeah, duh, we're supposed to like reach a point where we have refined it 
and we are just reusing it we do not need to have more for it now there have three active dragon capsules and one is in like final production at this moment in time they will halt production uh, flat out meaning after that fourth one is completed they are like okay we're done and they can uh, you know start making more if nasa demands for more of it if there is a, like a very high demand for more public uh, options and all that jazz then they can remake it and be mindful they are a space company which are aware of space tools they know for a fact that they will keep making parts they are like they are very honest about it it's like you know it is re reusable craft but it's not like airplane where you can like you know land if ev after every landing you have to analyze this so many of the components subsystems in that system is like use and throw so they have to replace it they know for a fact that sometimes they may have a bad issue where it's like you know this valve system have to be thrown out that may be a very core component so part supply they will make sure it's thoroughly maintained it's like it's a very important thing just part itself it's very easy to maintain it's just the supply chain of the parts is also very critical like for example airbus a380 was like generally only bought by like one or two airlines and they had an issue where it's like you know companies like you know we're gonna shut down production it's like no no you can't okay here's the one just one more order they knew for a fact that one order could take two more years but they knew doing that guaranteed at least four years of part supply just for that part supply they are like you know one more airbus a380 so be mindful part supply spacex is aware of that that they have they have four system to make sure these four work optimally without any issue they have to have part supply and this also makes them uh, very flexible if nasa plans more missions they can just ramp up production full scale no issue now they have real world experience it's not a big deal or it's not a, like you know whoa they are taking some risk here no it's like yeah they have done it multiple times everything they had issues thousands of issues and they have sorted through all of them so this is final uh, iteration basically how falcon 9 was in block one then became block two block three block four block five this is same this is like the final step of dragon and this will also uh, free up a serious amount of capital that will go into starship so that's why I'm saying like SpaceX does not have that, uh, you know, infinite money which they started when they were starting to build Starship. Now, another in terms of political hoo-ha, uh, something happened is human landing system option B is now active. What does that mean? That simply means uh, many companies, well, basically three companies bid for human landing system. Now, that was easy option. Option B is much harder. Option B is simply because the sustaining lunar development effort. That's the second uh, option B's main clause, quote unquote. What does that mean? That simply means from an engineering point of view, you must have more payloads and you must have more capability, meaning you're not going there coming back you are going there and staying there and uh, as long as possible like as long as 15 days kind of possible so fundamentally this time they need far more oomph, meaning your system have to be far more self-sufficient far more uh, you know it should have ability to recycle water recycle air like you know you need much more oomph if you want to stay there for a long term duration however it does not mean spacex uh, is disqualified and uh, it, they would need to change everything simply because it was overkill from day one so from their point of view they will barely need any changes in order to make that puppy work however the biggest achilles heel they have is orbital refueling every other system was designed in such a way that they do not need orbital refueling orbital refueling is one of those trump card it could work surprisingly easy it could be like you know we docked there oh dude we had we thought like there would be so much boil off there is like knit little or no boil offs and it's like you know we thought like you know sloshing it would be issue it's like oh no issue things could happen like things could go uh you know in bad direction does not mean like it's guaranteed to go in bad direction sometimes good things also happen like happened with james Webb telescope there like you know it's actually giving more resolution than we anticipated like more uh, diffractional performance that we anticipated things could happen but murphy's laws is like you know what things will go bad so that is an achilles heel and let's be real it's not going to happen by 2024 that's like two years from now not happening 2026 if you are lucky another option is this will open up a new uh, round of bidding and nasa inherently wants uh, like you know two non-similar option a that will ensure uh, blue origin cannot sue them and b they always from day one wanted non-similar options because be mindful how the spacex came to be because nasa inherently wanted multiple system they they were ready to give contract to boeing but they were like you know let's give spacex a try right now we are like you know why the heck you are supporting uh, boeing but again, they had to do that. They had to. Under no circumstances they ever want to be in a situation where they are right now, where it's like, you know, they have only SpaceX to do everything. It's really fragile for a country to have one company. What if that company does something stupid? Things happen. We are human. We make something. Oops. That could happen. And it's like, you know, this whole SpaceX goes down. What the hell? 
that's the whole point uh, spacex uh, is not supposed to be the only horse in a country as big as like usa so that's why uh, hls option b is kind of interesting dynetics is everybody is hoping that dynetics actually win and so they will have like you know do similar reception and again this system will not require much modification so from spacex point of view if they figure it out if they built it if they are ready for it it's like yeah we can like you know nasa can be like you know we're gonna give you one mission we're gonna give you two missions one mission two mission one mission two mission to you know balance out the cost so this is will uh, start to come into news very soon another aspect happened that is like you know fiscal year of 2023 budgeting basically uh, nasa and esa started to make plans for mars 2040 now this proposal is direct human mission and preferably for long term so what they are expecting here it's kind of stupid uh, they are expecting increasing budget by congress meaning uh, they gonna ask for let's say 25 And then they're gonna ask for 26. Uh, then they're gonna ask for 27. And then uh, at the end of 2027, they're gonna ask for 28. And these are in billions, as in big B. Uh, yeah. Now all those things aside, like things that are happening here, uh, one core things people have started to notice that they are actually putting little bit of money, like seed amount of money, into nuclear space tech. Because let's be real here, chemical engines are just not fast enough. You cannot actually do like again. cannot do simply does not mean like you can't do simply means you should not do uh, is that can you send a human to mars right now using a starship let's assume it uh, refueling works yes but here's the deal you will be cooking them with cosmic radiation uh, and people do not like to be cooked with your cosmic radiation so you need something faster uh, starship the only benefit it has compared to everything else is just bigger it's not much faster like it's just like yeah instead of carrying let's say 10 tons to mars it can carry 100 tons to mars that's awesome but it does not have like oh instead of like you know traveling in 6 month i'm traveling in 6 days it's not fast enough and nasa is very seriously aware of that it's like no we have to do it. and again nasa knows for a fact that what happens to astronaut in like you know 6 month in iss it's not good and you want to send them into a like harsh environment after you have compromised their body that's kind of stupid so you should not do that so they are very aware of like they need lot of nuclear space technology for a specific uh, speed uh, aspect they need something that can accelerate a craft very fast now you can use ion engines problem with that is like we do not have electrical generation ability or Or nuclear electrical power that is powerful enough we don't have like this is our kilo power it's good but not that kind of energy dense what about solar panel solar panel only works like around earth the moment you start to go as far as mars it does not have the oomph you need to do that so flat out that is out so what can they do nuclear thermal rocket that's the only known technology with known data points where like you know and they have actually built it in the past so it's not something whoa it's something like you know oh, we built it in 1970s it's one of those kind of thing so they want to re research that they have the uh, you know base technology already developed they just have to you know uh, up modernize it figure it out the political ramifications and all that just they have to do it without it moon and mars is not happening like again moon can be done if you are really pushing it but not uh, too far because even in moon you have a issue what the hell you going to do in 15 uh, days of no sunlight or you can have like multiple solar uh, farms basically you can have like three solar farms in 120 degree apart from a like spherical point of view and then you will be like you know at least two of the farms will produce power no matter what but then will be issue how the heck you gonna you know can have such a long uh, cable to you know connect power so again it can be solved but like good luck with that and in mars we have to have nuclear energy because moon is very good for solar energy simply because it does not have atmosphere mars is really bad for it simply because mars has day and night that means you will not have the luxury to charge your system for 15 days continuously you have the issue of like you know use it in during day time and night time day time night time night time night time that itself is bad and then it has dust storm which can block your solar panels for around a month or maybe two months so you get that point like they have to figure this puppy out so there was like a hints that nasa is taking uh, basically nuclear energy very seriously without it lol mars is like lol again we can do it it's just like it's not something that can be sustained so fundamentally that's their plan and be mindful i am on the only reason i'm showing you this graph rather than some fancy images because the, even the nasa as in itself uh, is like you know next 2 3 years we're going to devote 100 million dollars to it and then we're going to crunch this puppy where it's like okay how exactly we're going to do that right now it's just a plan so what we can expect in the future well the reality is uh, the last converse, uh, conversation with nasa that people had as in like actual people is like you know with budget analysis and all that everybody was like dude sls is wrong this should not happen like nasa cannot keep doing this again and again where there's like you know this will be done in this time yeah it's delayed by 10x this will be done by like you know this budget is now yeah extended by budget is like 10x you cannot do that again and again because government have to be liable to people it's like you cannot just like lol every time because army can do that yes it is true army can do that and army has done that where they have like a single fighter jet it is 1 trillion dollars like what the hell army can do that but here's deal 
as a collective humanity we have agreed army can go yolo everybody else is like let's be you know realistic and not to mention why the heck you are having hard time like this is not a reusable rocket this is not built on a new technology why the heck you are so behind schedule why the heck you are like you sold us like this will cost around 1 to 1.5 billion let's go 2 billion why the heck this puppy is costing 4 billion dollars so fundamentally even nasa flat out knows for a fact that if government takes looks as close look at it it's like you know let's cancel this project simply because you either it's a uh, made by incompetent people or made by people who are want to leech off money both of them are bad so fundamentally uh, what nasa is trying to do is they're going to throw money at it and that you can see that is like their budget is going up it's like why like if i were running usa i would not spend even a single time on nasa at this point in time it's like dude you are 100% incompetent so i try to throw all these things away it's like dude you can't do this just throw it away i will divert all that money into chip fabrication it's like you know let's make sure that my country can mass produce uh, nano chips uh, at you know large scale ironically enough so that's the one thing they have no grounding in budget at this point in time it's like we're going to ask more it's like where are you going to get that we are dealing with like you know crisis of fuel prices and you are like we're going to ask for more money how the heck you going to get that money so this is one thing that is very serious 100% reality is these things that they are trying to build is 100% financially in uh, you know non feasible now be mindful same was apollo but apollo was running on schedule compared to this apollo was like flying like apollo did things on a budget that it has consumed like did things as in like yeah apollo saturn 5 done built go home sweet dreams they are like nothing they consumed money they consumed years nothing and there has the funny thing one sls is too expensive they are like let's build three more so fundamentally this is really bad now be mindful i'm not just ratting on nasa it's like same with isa same with to be frank almost every single government agency have not learned anything recently they are, lo they are no longer looking at like you know the world has changed we no longer have the money hula la la that we used to have isa is learning the hard way that they actually have zero space capability if some uh, reason like there is some sanction or some fight between usa even some soft fight i'm not talking saying like, you know battle battle stance guys like small uh, you know disc uh, agreement is isa will be stuck it's like yeah we don't have any human missions we do not have any human capability we do not have any cheap rocket we do not have anything about anything and they are not fo focusing on fixing that they are just like you know big grand mission that's costing multiple trillions of dollars it's like why so realistically it's it gives me very dark hope to the future where it's like you know what i i can easily see that in next few years people will slowly start to you know i just cut nasa's budget it's like you, you cannot sell this to public yeah you simply cannot sell this so let's see what happens so this was my presentation on basically space news that happened uh, hopefully you have liked it learn from it in that case please click the like button share it among your friend that will help me a lot if you didn't like it didn't enjoy it i urge you to press dislike press it twice to show me a disappointment please leave a comment because i do try to reply to all of them subscribe press the bell icon if you're free and as always thanks for watching